Hey you guys, Guy Stevens here. I'm gonna make a quick little video. What if you would like to attach multiple images to one record? Let's make a new database and then we get this one and then let's say, let's call it whatever we want. Um, and let's start with a simple database. All right, let's go to file, manage database. Let's say for instance, we have a database about flowers and we wanna add multiple pictures to every single flower. Because I called my database multiple pictures, FileMaker makes me a table, multiple pictures. I don't really want that one. I'm gonna say flowers and I'm gonna say pictures. Those are two um, tables that I'm gonna use. This one I don't want, so I'm gonna delete this one and also remove occurrences from this one in the graph. Because what you could do, for instance, if you have flowers, you can say ID number, that's the one I always use first, which is a auto enter serial number field. I could say flower and I could, this one could be a text and then I could say description and this could also be a text and I could actually, to be honest, I could say image right here or picture, um, picture right here and that should be if it's going to be a picture then that should be a container field let's create that one okay let's just start with that one and let's see what we've got let's go to our flowers layout and in fact let's go to file manage layouts and i don't want this one so let's delete this one all right cool um, i don't need my field picker so i'm going to close it I'm gonna exit my layout and then I'm gonna see, I'm gonna click new record right here. Uh, my auto enter serial number is gonna give me a number. I'm gonna, I could say a rose and that's a beautiful flower. Uh, it's not very scientific, I know, but simple. I could say insert picture. If I right click, then I could go to my roses right here and I could say add me this one. Now I can make this uh, box a little bit bigger. That's kind of cool. And now I've got my picture in here and that's kind of cool. But what if I want to add a second picture? I could go to File Manage Database and I could make a picture two, picture three, picture four, picture five. Uh, but what if I want to add 16 pictures? That's going to be kind of annoying uh, to have 16 different um, fields and where am, am I going to place them all on my layout? If I um, have to place them all over here and I have for instance only one picture then that's going to be uh, kind of silly looking to have 16 boxes with only one picture in it. So that's why I'm going to use uh, the other uh, table file manage database this um, pictures table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, relate these pictures to these flowers. So I'm going to say first of all I have an ID field which is a number and that's a serial number then I will have a flower IDFK field because I would like to have a picture that is related to a certain flower. So here I'm gonna write flower number one or flower number two or whatever. And then I'm gonna say picture and that picture is a container field uh, because that's where I'm gonna be putting my pictures. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let's go to our relationships and let's say my flower is related to my pictures using the flower ID is related here to the flower ID FK. That's kind of cool. Um, do we need to change something in the settings here? Let's go and double click here. And then let's see, I would like to allow the creation of pictures um, in the pictures table via this relationship. That's kind of cool. And also I'm gonna check this one as well. That means that I'm going to delete all my pictures when I delete my flower. So if I have a bunch of pictures related to a certain flower, like a rose, and I delete that rose, then I don't need those pictures anymore so they can be deleted as well. Okay, this is looking kind of good. Let's go in here. Let's go into edit layout. Let's delete this one, I don't need it. So let's delete this one as well and let's uh, go to file manage database. And let's go into fields and let's just delete this one as well. Delete, are you sure? Yes, okay, that's gone. And then now I'm gonna, because I'm gonna be um, showing multiple pictures, I'm gonna use a portal because a portal allows you to display records from related tables on a layout. That's exactly what we need. Okay, let's make it something like this, not too uh, high. Show related values from pictures. I'm not gonna sort or filter, but I'm gonna allow the deletion of portal records. I think the rest is kind of good. So let's see, what do I need? A picture and that's kind of it. I made it not too high because I'm actually gonna make it 
uh, high like so. And in fact, I'm going to say, don't show me three, but show me two rows. This could maybe be a little bit more narrow like this. And then the picture can be a little bit larger. Uh, then I'm going to insert a picture like so. And I'm going to say, give me um, an image like, for instance, a tiny little X. And if I put that, this is actually not tiny at all, but it doesn't matter. I can make this as big as I want. I'm going to put this X in here, and this X is going to be my delete button. So I'm going to go to button setup, and I'm going to say delete portal row, which can be found under records. Now I can't choose delete record request because my record is my flower record. I don't want to delete my flower, but I just want to delete the portal row. The rest is good. Let's close this and let's exit the layout and let's have a look. If we go here and say insert picture, then we can uh, kind of go back to where our picture was. Somewhere here, let's say rows and let's say this one. There you go. I've got one picture and now I can insert a second picture like this one. And this way I can add multiple pictures to my rows. I'm missing something here in my portal, so I'm going to double click it and I'm going to say show a vertical scroll bar, which is kind of cool. And then actually I'm going to make this one even a little bit bigger and I'm actually going to make this layout a bit bigger as well. So that I could maybe, oof, this is, uh, actually I don't need this footer, so I'm going to click on the footer and click delete. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Then maybe I'll just make this three rows anyway and then uh, it's starting to look good. This one is looking a bit bad here, but I can make this one a bit wider. And now this is showing up. My picture can be uh, the same size as this here. Okay, uh, and maybe one more thing, if we double click this one, let's see, do we need this one? Does this make any difference? Yeah, because you can see a little bit of a gray here, and that way you can kind of see that you have multiple pictures going on here. I could insert another picture like, I don't know which one I already had. Uh, and then I could scroll down and I could insert another picture. And this way I could kind of keep doing this uh, forever and ever and ever till the end of time because I uh, have um, the ability to add as many pictures as I want and I don't need to copy fields or anything, anything like that. This is actually very simple. Let's go and have a look in our pictures right here because if we see here that we've got our flower rose in number one, this is our ID number one and I've just added a bunch of pictures, I've done nothing else. In my pictures, if I go in table view, that I, then I can see that every single picture gets its own unique ID, that's good, but they are all automatically related to that flower because I added that picture while I was on that flower layout. So that's kind of cool. That's something that happens automatically because of that relationship. Now, imagine if you have, for instance, a new flower and it's like an orange flower. Oops, that's not looking very good something like this and you have like a bunch of pictures in a folder what you could do is you could first of all remember this ID because we're gonna need to have this later on I can go to my pictures right here and I could say file import uh, not a file but a whole folder and then I could specify and I could say give me I'll have to look for it Give me my orange flower. Was that the one? Yes, that's the one. Let's hit OK. And then I can specify, uh, continue, and I can specify exactly what it is that I would like to import. Now, I don't want to import very much. Um, I'm just going to um, import, not the file path. I don't need this. The file name, I don't need this. The image is going to have to be imported in my picture field. So I'm going to drag this one up click this arrow because the arrow means that I'm going to import in this field and this dash means don't import in this field. So I'm going to just import only the images into the picture field. And I'm going to add new records. That's good. I'm going to click import right here. And then I'm going to do this one, perform auto enter because that's going to create, for instance, the serial number. So these numbers right here. And I'm going to pay very close attention. Right now I've got four uh, pictures in here. I'm going to import and it says that it has uh, added five pictures. So there are five orange flowers in my uh, folder. Okay, the only thing that we're noticing now that's different from before, and there are actually two things that we're noticing. First of all, these don't have any flower IDs. 
but I'm currently within my set of uh, ju the import the records that I just imported. So I've just imported five of them, and I had four, so the total is five plus four is nine. I'm looking at five out of nine. I'm looking right now, and this is very handy, I'm looking now only at the items that I have just imported right now, so only the orange flowers. So what I can do right now, because I remembered that this flower had ID number two, I can just enter ID number two in here, and I have to do that for every single record, and then these flowers are correctly related, because if I now go to my flowers right here, and I go to my orange flower, there's only one that's showing up, the other ones are not showing up, because the other pictures are not yet related to this orange flower. But if I have just imported a folder of 50 items, then that's a lot to change, and I don't really want to do this manually, so what I can do is, I can go to records and I can say, um, I have to enter a field here first. I could basically what I have to do is I have to set this value of two in every single uh, record here, in this field for every single record. Now there's a function for that called replace field contents. If you do that, then this will permanently, permanently replace the contents of the field flower IDFK in the five records with a certain value. Now the r value that's suggested now is nothing. If I, there's a little trick, if I uh, go into this field right now where I've already got the correct value, if I go to records replace field contents, it's already going to suggest that I want to replace all of these records with the value two. Um, I can do that, I can hit replace. And then uh, for all of these found flowers here, I'm going to relate them automatically to, um, to this uh, flower that I've made. Now, if I would not have entered a value in here, I could still go in here and say records, replace field contents, but then I'd have to select, because it's not suggesting anything right now, I would have to select this one, and the value would be um, simply two. Replace with value two, and there you go. And now if I go to my flowers, I can see that all my orange orange flowers that I've just imported have now been related to, all five of them have now been related to this orange flower. Now this is good, but if you need to do this a lot of times, you might want to make a script to make all of this a little bit easier. So let's make a new record. What else did I have? I think I had a pink flower. And let's see if we can come up with a script that makes this all a little bit easier. So a script is actually very simple. Some people think they need to write some sort of funky programming, but that's not how that works. A script is basically a um, bunch of steps that you do, uh, and that FileMaker then kind of automates for you. Now, if you remember the steps that we had to do before, what we did was we made our flower right here. Then we remembered what the ID was, we went to this layout, we imported, we did file import uh, folder, then all our flowers were imported, then we did a replace field contents for this field, and we replaced it with the ID number that we remembered from the other layout. If we remember all of these steps, then we can put them into a script. So let's go to file, manage scripts, and make a new script, and let's say import folder of pictures. Okay, so the first thing we did was we remembered what the ID was. Is there a script step for remembering a value? Yes, there is, and it's called set variable. Our variable, if we hit specify, it, there are basically two things you need to define. The name for the variable and the value. Now the value is simple, it's this number. I have to remember from the flowers my flower ID. So if I specify here, then I can just say flower ID that's the value I want to remember. How am I going to name this? I could name it whatever I want, but I think I'm going to give it a logical name and I'm going to say flower ID. Now if I go out of this field, then FileMaker adds a dollar sign here, but that's normal. All the variables are prefixed by a dollar sign. If you prefix it with two dollar signs, then that becomes a global variable because this variable that's made in this script is only available until the script is done and then it's no longer available. If you want to use it in the next script, you need to make it a dollar dollar sign. You can just do that by typing an extra dollar sign there. But I don't need that right now, so I'm going to make it really simple like this.
Now, what's my next step going to be? Um, after I have uh, set my variable, I've remembered this name. What I did then is I went to my pictures layout. So that's a simple one. Go to layout, layout, pictures. Okay, that's cool. Then what did I do then? I imported my folder. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Import records. Let's see, um, I would like to specify a folder, but I don't want to um, specify yet exactly which one this is going to be. So I'm going to say um, specify the import order, sure. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. Actually, let's just try this out and see what gives. What do I want to do here? Oh yeah, I don't want to specify anything yet. That's good. That's good. I want to keep this. Okay, I'm going to not perform this without dialog because I do have to specify my folder every time here. Then I'm going to do my import. And then I'm going to do a little test. If I've actually imported something, I'm going to say if get found count does not equal zero then I would like to replace the flower IDFK for all of these imported records with the variable that I remembered so that's very simple replace field contents Again, two things I want to specify. One is in pictures, the flower IDFK. I want to replace that with the value that I've created here. So the dollar sign flower ID, that's the name of my variable. I'm going to click this one and say dollar sign flower ID. Okay. And then when that is done, I'm going to go back to my original layout. So I'm going to say go to layout, original layout. And I think that probably kind of concludes what I had to do. Let's hit Control S to save this script. Then let's go back to our flowers right here. Actually, um, if you go into your pictures, if you want to see all your other flowers as well, you can just hit Show All and then you're seeing flowers 1 and flowers 2 and all of these. Okay, let's go to flowers and let's make a button. We can actually have the button from here. There's a button tool up top. I'm gonna uh, create a big button here that says, that does my script. I'm gonna change this to a hand cursor and I'm gonna specify import folders of pictures. That's the script we just created. I'm gonna say okay and then my cursor asks me to write some text on this button and that's gonna be import folder, oops, I'm typing very badly, of pictures. Okay, something like that. And then let's exit the layout and let's see what happens. Now, if you have File FileMaker Pro, then you can't really do this, but if you have FileMaker Advanced, FileMaker Pro Advanced, then you've got in your tools menu, you've got a script debugger, which is something that we can use, which is kind of cool, and also a data viewer, which is also kind of cool. Uh, if you use those and you click, for instance, on this button, then what's going to happen is FileMaker is going to stop my script so that I can step through it every single step of the way. And that's kind of cool because that way I can kind of see what's happening. So I'm going to step into this script and I'm going to see what is happening. My first step is that I'm going to set a variable uh, called flower ID and it's going to go and take the value from flowers ID. Now flowers ID right here, the value is number three. This is my third flower. So if I let this script step happen, let's see what's happened. My dollar flower ID has been created and it is a number three. That's the value in my variable that's called fl dollar sign flower ID. So that's good. That's what I need. Next step, go to layout pictures. Okay, let's click this one. Then we arrive here. That's kind of good. Um, then I'm going to do an import record. So let's click on this one, see what happens. I have to specify here a certain folder. So let's do that. So I've got my, uh, my this is the, which one was I doing? The pink flower right now. This is my folder. So I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to hit continue. Then I'm going to hit uh, image goes in picture. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to import and import. 
and then I have added three records that's okay okay I'm gonna hit okay then my script continues and it's gonna say if get found count is not zero well the found count right now is three so that's good that means this is going to happen replace field contents it's gonna replace the pictures flower IDFK so this one with my variable dollar sign flower ID which was here created number three let's click next and see what happens well this gives me a um, dialog box which I actually don't want to have so I can turn this off so that this thing doesn't pop up I'm gonna hit replace and then I'm gonna see what happens here okay this has been replaced with the number three that's good and then let's step through the next and then I arrive here again okay that's what happened that looked very good except for that one little step the replace field contents needs to be performed without dialogue because I don't need that box okay save changes yes yeah, save let's close this and I can see all my pink flowers have all shown up in my um, thing right here let's try this again let's delete delete and delete my flowers and let's try this again but this time without our um, uh, script debugger so let's click here FileMaker is going to ask me to specify the folder okay the folder is in my this is in my pink flower folder so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit OK continue and this is good so import import okay and then my script just continues on its own and all my flowers are in here and they're properly related so now as you can see on my different layouts I've got all the uh, proper pictures um, imported exactly the right way now this is very handy when you've got your um, flowers all nicely in your um, separate folders but what if you have uh, for instance all your pictures in one simple uh, in one single folder and everything is kind of mixed up um, together how could we fix that well we could go and we could say if you go into pictures what we could do is we could just say records delete all records I'm gonna delete them all and I'm gonna say file import a folder specify my folder so I've got this full collection folder which is all my pictures then I'm gonna say continue and I'm gonna say the image goes in picture that's good let's import boom now I've got them all imported but I have not been able to properly set my uh, IDs right here because they're all mixed up and in fact if I look can't see very well right here but if I would go in here and I could see I've got an orange flower a rose uh, another orange a pink another purple or a orange whatever um, it's all it's all just mixed up so this is not very handy uh, what can we do to kind of solve this uh, problem very simple I could actually uh, do this right here in this layout I can actually make this uh, a bit bigger like so and there you go and then I could say um, now I have to basically enter the correct flower ID but I don't know what it is so what I can do is make this one a bit bigger and then make this a and in fact I'm gonna make this one a bit more like so because this is gonna be handier I'm gonna make this a drop-down box and I'm gonna say um, under data make this a drop-down list and I have to choose a drop-down list but I don't have any of them yet so I'm gonna hit this pencil to make a new one and I'm gonna say give me all the flowers and I'm gonna use values from a field because from the field flowers I'm gonna use the ID because this is my ID FK field I have to enter an ID number in here and that's where the ID number is but I don't know these ID numbers by head I want to also display values from a second field namely the field flower and show me only the values from the second field okay 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 if we do that then what I can do is if I click here I can say well this one is an orange flower and the cool thing is as soon as I select it uh, FileMaker puts the number two in here and that's correct because this one is a actually number two and now I can just scroll right through all of them this one is a rose and then I can just uh, scroll through all my pictures and I can very quickly uh, this one is a pink flower I've actually already reached the end so I'm gonna scroll all the way back orange rose and so forth and so forth and I, I can very quickly just uh, assign all of these 
to the correct okay they're already done now I can go back to my flowers right here and I can see that for every single record I've assigned them now to the correct uh, to the correct flower so if I make a mistake somewhere for instance if I take this one and I accidentally attach these two rows and I look at my rows right here and I see an orange one in here I can just go back here and just say oh no this is an orange flower very simple and actually a very kind of handy and good way to attach multiple pictures to one main record and to just have some flexibility of quickly importing them and assigning them to the correct flower there is one thing that's very important to pay attention to and that is the file size of your um, database if you're going to be importing a bunch of pictures your file size could become very big now when if you paid attention when we imported our folder there was an option here that says import only a reference to each picture file this reduces the size of your database but if you rename move or delete the picture file the picture won't be displayed now if I do uh, if I uncheck this then all my pictures will be imported in my database that's handy because that way I can't lose them but the size of my database is going to be very big now what I could do is I'm gonna uncheck this one um, let's let's cancel for a second let's go and show all of these records um, because if you look at our file size right now it's very small it's 204 kilobytes that's kind of cool I'm going to go and say delete all records then I'm going to say file import import a folder uh, whoops let's say the um, full folder so I've got my full collection, I'm going to import that and I'm going to say do not just import a reference but import my entire pictures. If I do that, uh, this one is good. Okay, I've got 13 imported, that's good. I've got all of my pictures in here, that's kind of good. But if I look at my file size now, it's not updated yet, I'm going to have to close this one first. And if I look now my file is now four megabytes and a little bit more uh, than four megabytes so this it becomes a little bit big uh, and the thing is it's often a good idea to store your um, pictures like somewhere else like in a different folder like actually kind of what we just did um, because that way you can just make multiple backups of your database file and your file stays small and then all your images stay in a different folder and that's kind of handy but what if you have a bunch of pictures that are already in there what you can do then is you can uh, turn that container field into some sort of an external storage let's see if we can figure out how that works let's go to file manage database or no let's go to file manage um, containers let's go there and let's say that I want to make a new one and my base directory needs to be something like files um, let's see what do we want to do oh no I want the directory name and a slash so it's like this files and I don't want a slash here okay or instead of files I could say flower pictures okay that's kind of good let's see if this works flower pictures okay um, let's go to file manage database and let's say that from my pictures table I want my picture to have the storage to be stored in a container data externally in my flower pictures and then I could choose if I want secure storage or open storage if I use open storage then I can basically see all of the um, I can see all of the images but if I um, use a secure storage then I can't what could I add here let's say it says picture slash picture I don't really like this let's specify and let's say something like um, let's say instead of uh, this I would like flowers oh this is a tricky one no I'm gonna just leave this open because this is kind of dangerous to use data from a related um, from a related uh, field I'm gonna just say give me open storage okay let's try this out see what gives and then FileMaker is gonna say that the storage options have been changed do I want to transfer this data okay let's try this let's see what happens 
it's completed it transferred 13 files so that's good let's look in my file browser all of a sudden I've got this flower pictures folder and if I look in there I can see all my pictures that's kind of good and if I look back at my file right here it's still very big but that hasn't updated yet let's close this one and let's open it up again and then let's have a look okay my file size is back down to 208 kilobytes and all my flower pictures are in here if I were to delete all of these uh, my full collection and my separate folders then I've still got all my flower pictures that are in my database and I've got my database file itself and the both of them are separate and so this one is just a very tiny size and can easily be backed up and the flower pictures they do have to remain there in the same folder but I could um, I could maybe back this up separately or whatever so this file size stays really small so that's a very good trick and something very handy to kind of memorize uh, and the cool thing about this is that once you've done this and you ever want to change like the folder name you can simply do that by going into your settings file manage um, external uh, containers and then you can just um, like make another one and then assign that container field to that other folder and everything will be moved and every everything in FileMaker will, will keep on pointing to the correct file so if you do that uh, then you never really lose your um, pictures and you can kind of um, maneuver them and put them wherever you want so I hope that that helps a little bit as well if you want to learn more about FileMaker, you can go to my Udemy page where I've got multiple um, courses online. Like for instance, this one is a complete FileMaker invoice database where we build an entire invoicing system completely from scratch. And there you have all kinds of chapters that detail all the different functions and features that you could use and uh, maybe uh, build in your own FileMaker system. So if you want to learn more about that, go to the link in the description. Ciao.